Okay, this is going to be a really quick run through Power Music Professional for the benefit of those people who have already been using Power Music 4, just to show you the main differences and improvements in Power Music Professional. Uh, first thing you'll notice in the launch screen, we've got a new set of icons. We've got um, a much more modern looking icon for the Power Music Professional program. Uh, and this theme is uh, also runs through the Power Music Mac and Power Music Essentials and Power Music app as well. Looking on here, the thing you'll notice here is Redeem a Songbook Voucher. Uh, this now allows you to buy vouchers for songbooks from publishers and you can redeem these and get the songs into your Power Music Professional directly from Power Music Box. So let's just have a quick look then at some of the features here. Again, you'll notice that some of the icons have changed up here. There's the Redeem Voucher again. We've got new icons for the box in the store. A uh, nice wee utility has been added as a guitar tuner. So if you're a guitarist and you want to, whoa, that's a bit loud, and you want to tune your guitar, you can uh, bring up the guitar tuner and use that. One of the main things in Power Music Professional is you can change the number of pages per screen displayed. This is this new drop down list here, so I can choose this to be three pages per screen. I can go back to two pages per screen or whatever, so I can change that uh, without having to go into edit song. Navigation of large pieces has been greatly improved as well. This is quite a, a large piece of music, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll just stick it into a playlist, double click, put it in the playlist, go there, go full screen. Uh, a new little icon down the bottom here, we click here, it slides out and it allows you to jump straight to any page of the piece of music. So I can just click on there and do that. However, much more uh, important than that is the ability to put in bar marks and performance marks. So I'm just going to go to page uh, 7 and I'm going to put a performance mark in here. So I click in the middle of the screen. You'll notice as well the annotations have been tidied up a bit. It highlights the page you're annotating and it's here. Uh, so performance marks, rehearsal marks, you click on there. I'm going to put this in as rehearsal mark A. So I just select A, I can change the size of the rehearsal mark I want, so I'll just put it back down to there, I can change its colour, do lots of things with that. But I just go up there and tap, and I've put rehearsal point A in there. I'll save that. And let's say and I want to go to page uh, 10, and up here I want to put rehearsal point B. So I'll go in here, another rehearsal point B, and just drop it in there like that. Easy as that, save it. So now you'll notice that when I bring out my quick navigation bar, the rehearsal points are shown in here as well. So I can jump straight to rehearsal point A, click, there I'm at it, and I can jump to rehearsal point B, click, and I'm at it there, because there's rehearsal point B there. What other differences are there? Well, there's a big difference in the song editor. If we choose another song, let's go back to our libraries here, and let's just choose all songs. <clears throat> there's a song there, let's uh, edit that song. And the way you edit it now is completely changed. We have a, a sidebar here where you can select what you want to edit. So you can edit the chord sheet, which was what has been displayed. You can edit the sheet music and you can edit the lyrics by selecting from here. The details pane, which covered all the information, um, libraries, authors, categories, references and so on, we can access them through here. So if I want to change the title, click on there, I can add a title, delete a title, I can change the first line, I can change the copyright information. If I'm using a CCLI license, I can put it in there so each song has a CCLI number beside it. Uh, categories, again, we've changed the way you manage categories a lot easier, just add categories and delete categories in here. Libraries, likewise, it's uh, greatly simplified. Bible references, if you use them, again, they're there. Brand new features, web links. I'll talk about them in a minute. And um, tempo, audio, song notes, all of these uh, are editable in here. And you can just save that when you're finished. Uh, you're also able to change the number of pages per screen for chord sheets, sheet music, or when you're displaying both. We've also improved the chord handling for different languages, so you can have German and Dutch chords and you can have French, Italian and Spanish chords. So these are just different symbols for the chords A, B, C, D and so on. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple of songs into the playlist. It's the usual way, just do that. Let's do this song here if we go full screen. Um, as before, you'll notice there are the uh, performance notes down the side here. But what we can do now is when we edit these, we have the feature to add a performance note which only applies to the song that's in the playlist, not the song where it's stored all songs. So at the moment, both the notes for the general song notes 
are the same as the playlist but for this particular playlist I want to change it and I add something extra at the bottom I'll just put in finish with piano and save that now that note is saved along with this song in this playlist so next time I bring that playlist up then that particular note will be there however if I come out of the main list here and go to song number nine and look at the notes you'll notice that it hasn't changed the notes in the song in here just realized I forgot to talk about the new links feature in Power Music Professional um, here's a song um, which was downloaded from uh, Spring Harvest 2014 songbook and you'll notice now that up here in this bar there are a number of little icons and each of these icons is a link to either a web page or to an iTunes song or to a Facebook page or a Twitter page now these can be uh, put in by publishers so that when you buy a song from uh, the publisher they put in these links so for instance if I was to click on this little um, iTunes icon here, if I just click on that, it goes to iTunes and brings up the album which this piece of music's in. I can listen to a wee sample of it there. Okay, you can also add your own links to a song, so if you have a link to a YouTube video or some other web page you want to link to, you can add them to your songs as well. So that's, uh, that's the links feature in Power Music Professional. Okay, that was just some of the changes to Power Music Professional. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more in-depth videos of the features of this, but maybe that's enough just to get you started playing around with some of the new features in Professional.